Hi, Amanda here. In today's workout, we will have a clean as well as the snatch. I'll have options for both of those exercises. I also have tutorials for both exercises and I'll put a link down below in the description. If you're not warmed up already, make sure you go get warmed up first and then let's get ready to go. So we're gonna get started with a one arm swing. So just bring it into that two hand swing to get started. And let's go. So we're gonna have 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest today. I'll just be doing the one run through, but you can always go back and do it two or three more times. So that's nice and light in those hands, making sure that you're not locking out in the elbow. So it's just a little bit of a soft bend in the elbow there. Making sure, just like with our two hand swing, that we're really using those hips push that weight up. So it's a lot more legs in our swings. That's it. And keeping that chest up, a few more seconds, then we'll have a little rest. All right, so we're gonna put the bell down. So the next one, we have a clean with our reverse lunge. So if you don't wanna do the clean every time, you can always just keep it in our rack position. So you can just keep it here. And we're gonna have the same leg each time. All right, we're gonna go in three, and let's go. So we're gonna bring it into the clean and then stepping it back into that lunge. And we're gonna keep doing that every time. So keep re-cleaning it, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you off balance a little bit. So you're really gonna to have to use your core in this one. That's it, so if you're not engaging your core, you're really gonna feel that wobble. So if you're off balance, make sure we're engaging it. Five seconds. All right, let's put that bell down. And we're gonna have the other side next. Get my bell right. All right, so let's get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, and let's go. So into our clean. And then of course, you're gonna switch that legs. Oh, my mic's in the way. That's it. And back. So make sure that you're really grounding yourself with that front foot. So most of the weight on that lunge is gonna be in that front leg there. You got it, keep it going. You got about 10 seconds. Five more seconds. Last one. And down, all right. All right, so our next one is gonna be an ISO squat. So a hold, and we're gonna keep switching our hands. So you wanna have your feet a little wider than your hips. We're gonna keep the chest up. Coming down, and we're just gonna keep switching. All right, let's go. So that's it. So just holding that low squat position. And making sure that you don't drop the bell. But it's not too far from the floor. Hopefully you're on a mat or on carpet or something like that. That's it, really sink back into those hips. Whew, just 20 seconds. <laughs> My quads are already burning. 10 seconds. We got push-ups next. Get those legs a break. Three. And rest. All right, we're bringing it for a push-up and we'll tap on the bell. And we'll just keep switching our hands. All right, let's bring it down. Going in five. Oh, I'm off the mat. Papa. All right, I'm gonna hit my head. Coming into the push up and tap. You got it, let's keep it up. You don't have to wait for me to start. You can get going. That's it. Really focusing on a nice neutral spine. I have a bit of a arch in my low back. I really have to focus on my core. 
And that's due to having babies. Whew. All right, and here we go. So this is a snatch. So if you're familiar with snatches, we'll go into a full snatch. If not, we're just gonna do a straight overhead press. We're gonna go in five seconds. So your overhead press, you're literally just gonna go straight up overhead each time. Otherwise, we're gonna do snatches. So bringing it up, that's it. You got it. Or wherever you're at with your snatch practice, just go to that. Keep it going. You'll notice I exhale at the top, but I also exhale at the bottom. It's really hard to speak and do this. And rest. So I'm also exhaling at the bottom of my snatch. Yeah, try, try talking it through this way. We're gonna go in 10 seconds on the other side. And then that'll be it for the first round. And then again, if you have more time, just go around. Two or three rounds will be perfect. Okay, so other side. There we go. That's it, keep it nice and strong. We wanna have a nice lockout at the top there. Again, nice and soft in the elbows. Ten seconds. Almost there. You got it. Ooh, a little still that time. Thirty seconds. There he goes. Woo! All right. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.